Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is my uh, fifth Seaton's cast and um, today we're gonna, gonna watch a classic Seaton's from uh, GPG. It is uh, from about 2010 I would say. I'm not 100% sure. I've already... Um, I got this uh, replay from uh, Bitgoblin where you can still find uh, old replays and um, yeah, since FAF is down, I um, took an old replay today and gonna cast this one. I will um, drop down the speed now for the introduction of the players. Um, playing air for the bottom side is uh, DCC98. Um, he is still playing. Um, he's playing as uh, BRS DCC97 now and um, he's an excellent uh, air player and he was, uh, I think, this was probably um, the time of his prime when he was really uh, on top of his uh, skill level. Um, yeah, he's a really uh, strong player. On the beach uh, we have uh, Amberg 711. Uh, he's uh, Back then he was uh, really good. Um, he's still playing on Forged Alliance, uh, on FAF. Um, still the same ni nickname, but um, he doesn't play Seaton's anymore. Uh, and uh, here, uh, playing front for the South team, we have uh, Gavner. Um, uh, he was a fun guy. I, I remember being with uh, on Skype with him a couple of times and. Um, he was uh, a good player and uh, he played front for the most part um, and here on rock uh, we have a classic Seaton's player, my good friend uh, La Pen uh, he, he was and still is an uh, uh, absolute top player um, and he's also playing his best, best spot, rock has always been the position he was in and uh, I expect him to do very well. Um, across from him we have uh, Barry Sotoro. Um, uh, this is a TA for life and uh, he's uh, very good and uh, he uh, will put up a good fight against Le Pen I think, uh, or at least I hope so. I don't know if he was playing much Thetans uh, at that time. Um, I, I know he played, uh, but I don't know how much. Um, I remember him uh, also being a good air player at that time. And uh, here we are, the, the air sport. Uh, it's played by Foxy Grandpa, um, also known as Lame God. Uh, he recently came back as NYQ on uh, uh, FAF. At least that's what I think. I have not 100% confirmation, but I'm pretty sure. And um, he was, uh, I think this was probably the time when he was uh, uh, at the peak of his skill. Um, although I remember him being uh, uh, more of a naval player than an air player, but I think uh, uh, he will uh, do good in whatever spot he is in. Um, although I would give a slight advantage to DCC here, but I'm not sure we will check out what's going to happen. Here as front uh, we have Colonel Rambo, uh, who is still playing on uh, FAF today, and um, he's a French guy, and uh, he uh, was good back then, and he's still good. So uh, this will be a good couple up front. And on rock, uh, we have uh, one of the best, probably, um, Seaton's Clutchers ever seen. Uh, Killer1351, um, he's an um, excellent uh, uh, Seaton's player. Uh, sadly, he doesn't play anymore, um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's nice uh, to, to have a replay where he's uh, still playing. And. Uh, uh, this will be a tough fight for Amberg, I guess. And so now I'm gonna um, uh, speed up a bit. Uh, we have to remember this is uh, 3599, so 
um, air is uh, very cheap and uh, there was some um, there were a couple of uh, differences in the balance of course you could also um, overcharge without the um, without the power storage back then so um, we will see what's gonna happen here you see two engineers to the back building the hydro no engineer to the front and uh, that's not um, not so good I would say we see an early scout and uh, mantis oh no it's a hunter and we see one engineer for Colonel Rambo here entering the front uh, I hope this is not trying to build a factory this is, this is unusual you, you will not uh, see it anymore uh, walking the commander here and uh, building and not reclaiming this is well, not good of course uh, he's hopefully not planning more yes, this commander will be very late and governor uh, will be able to suck a lot more mass um, which is very bad for the top side and very good for the bottom side <laughs> because they will get a lot more mass and uh, but it seems that uh, Rambo will have a nice spam uh, early on. Um, we see here uh, three engineers dropped, uh, three hunter in there. This was a, a classic thing for for killer. Uh, it's also very. Us it would still be very useful because uh, if there is a drop already on the island, you can just not unload those and sh kill the engineers and then drop them. And it's a very good, uh, very good thing. And I recognize him, he terrorized me with this thing a lot when I tried to grab his island back in the days. Now you see the hunter getting dropped and doing some annoyance here. I think they will not do major damage because they will get uh, killed by the uh, mantis now. Uh, La Pen took his island pretty much uncontested. Now we see here, um, it seems like. Uh, it uh, pays off that he built those factories uh, early on and um, because he has a lot more um, spam than governor and both rock players up on top here don't know why he's building so much AA there I think this is not needed. We can see here some hover artillery uh, going to annoy Hamburg here. Good radar placement. Um, I think this is a place where you should always have a radar. His beach. Um, we have a radar here, so he just has a very uh, small. Um, very small um, area where he might not have radar coverage. And you see like this. Actually, he's fully covered. Have an excellent placement here. And now we see the artillery decided not to go into Amberg's base, but to um, do some damage in the back of Governor's base. Mm, we do not see a lot of early, a lot of early navy. We see, however, a couple of frigates coming in, but. I think Embrook has a tech to commander here and every time you have a tech to commander um, on the beach you can hardly get rushed. You can always place a tech to PD here then build a tech to top launcher so that will totally stop any tech one um, um, navy coming in. We see a big push here and we see numbers for Colonel Rambo. Uh, we also see the tactical missile launcher for Colonel Rambo and looks like he has gun and he has a tactical missile launcher and gun, no tech two. Um, uh, he's looks like he's gonna shoot the naval yard of Hamburg here. I don't think it hit. Don't know where he shot there. Um we see incoming bombers from uh, TA for life, um, but 
uh, of course we have already ASF in the air and it looks like we have early numbers for um, for Lame God or Foxy Grandpa here uh, yes uh, yeah it looks like it has evened out now and we see a huge production here for BRS DCC um, we also see a lot of engineers uh, uh, you will not see that many engineers uh, nowadays on on 13 minutes because you simply could not pay uh, the power it's uh, become so much more expensive when you check let's check the numbers on here mm, you see his mass income is like 7000 and he already has 130 engineers on his uh, air factory which uh, you could never pay nowadays I hope uh, that the game sound is not uh, too loud. Um. We already see Tech 2 Navy by Killer. Uh. We see Tech 2 torpedo bombers from Hamburg. Of course, there is a cruiser, and the cruiser uh, will. Uh, kill the torps and so just four kills the situation is annoying for um, I will reduce uh, the, the sound now um, we see um, TMD going up, but he has already lost a lot of maxes. This one is not being killed yet, but this one. Now we see the artillery kills the TMD again, and the missile shooting the max again. So, uh, Gavin is in all kinds of trouble here. Um, he has tech to land, making. I think this is a rhino. Um, so. We see also some navy for Burke. He has two destroyers, a shield boat. Of course, the shield boat was much better back then. I think it has had much more, um, uh, much more hit points in terms of the shield. And I'm not sure if the price has changed. No, the price oh, I think was identical. And okay. So we speed it up a bit. We see more navy incoming. We do see one, two, three for TA. Uh, this looks like even numbers for for the top and the bottom side. Um, we see reptiles here, which they are very good. Um, yes, this navy it's paused. I don't know, he's getting some upgrade. This is Tech 3 upgrade. We see a Tech 2 air factory. So this um, looks suspicious. Mm. We see some Tech 1 bombers from La Pen helping out. Of course, this will not do anything um, in this case. Uh, we see La Pen getting Tech 3 as well. We already see a couple of Tech 3 Maxes. We see Tech 3 Maxes actually all over the place here. Um, and from the score, I would say he probably has the best eco in the game so far, uh, which uh, was absolutely typical for him. Mm, from ASF, uh, looks like DCC made up ground here. Um, 56 ASF for Foxy. Of course, they ha both have lost ASF because they were already fighting, and 65 for um, DCC. So it looks like DCC is getting an advantage in the air game. <coughs> we see already the second uh, Max getting upgraded to Tech 3. Um, Mm, we see a push now by um, Killer. 
and uh, uh, he definitely has numbers. Um, he has uh, quite uh, actually has like uh, fifty percent, f four destroyers, four cruisers. I think this is uh, way too my way too many cruisers. Um, uh, he has more destroyers coming in. Um, but of course, if you don't trust your air guy, you should always have a couple of cruisers with you. Um, they they have about half the HP um, of the destroyer, so uh, you really don't want to have that many in your in your uh, navy, especially not when fighting against navy, um, because if you can get six thousand HP instead of three, you want definitely the higher number. We see um, DCC sending an engineer uh, upgrading uh, to the Omni sensor, building a shield. That's good stuff. You should always do that. Um, can we see any radar for the top side? No, I do not see one. Maybe it is. No, I do not see an Omni sensor here. But we see a Tech 4 a GC being built, Galactic Colossus. Um, this will uh, be trouble for Governor. He start is almost finished with his Tech 3 upgrade, but. Of course, uh, with his economy being tech one and bit tech two maxes, this uh, will be huge trouble for the bottom side now. Mm, we see a naval fight. Uh, hard to tell. Looks like uh, Le Pen has more ships, um, but he has no hover tanks. Um, actually, he has some hover tanks on on his own, um, but. It looks like uh, La Pen having the upper hand. Uh, I don't know why Barry is in there in the water. His uh, his commander is getting probably TML the island and I missed it. Yeah, you, this one was shot with 6,000 uh, damage. This was a tactical missile at a 6k, and now he's uh, like playing very risky and this is especially unlucky because um, DCC just finishes Omni Sensor so he will be seen um, he's getting dropped in the water here um, his commander is tech 3 so he can do all kinds of stuff he's TMLing I guess this is the target And but Le Pen has a tech 3 commander of his own already uh, TMD built so he will TA will not kill more than this, uh, most likely. Uh, we see take three. We oh, we see an air fight, and um, this air fight has uh, totally uh, won by DCC. It has been totally won, and and uh, now uh, this is death for TA. Uh, there is no way out. He cannot transport out. They don't have air control. Um, they uh, he will just die now. Um, I Meanwhile, on the other hand, it looks like uh, mm, Amber got an uh, uh, Atlantis of his own. And here we go. TA for life died here at minute 23 in front of La Pen's shore. I mean, this was a very risky move to begin with, uh, with the air being undecided and. Um, him not having uh, a naval control, um, this was uh, really a risky move. And uh, now we see in Atlantis, of course, the Siren Destroyer has so good uh, torpedoes and anti-torpedoes, and with this Atlantis being the single ship, or the only ship, um, it will most likely die to the all those destroyers. And um, but of course, Amberg uh, went Tech Three Navy, um, uh, yeah, and uh, the battle cruisers out, which is excellent. Uh, but in the meantime, it uh, looks like the um, GC um, has wiped out the front base. He forgot the Omni sensor, which is bad because uh, this is a very good target. Um, but maybe the artillery takes uh, care of it. Um, Mm, the GC is marching into Amberg's base, and this is a bad situation for Amberg because um, he 
he will lose his build power here and he's under so much pressure. Um, this alone will not save it him. Uh, he's building shield boats, which is a good decision uh, because uh, he will get fast defense. Uh, we see with with the air being Vaughn significant, significant um, uh, DCC can afford to bomb. Of course, um, I remember back then those uh, Seraphim bombers uh, used to miss a lot, especially on the first pass, they almost never hit. Um, so it will take some time to get this uh, GC down. You can see he's trying to kill the max. Uh, he probably should go for the tech 3 naval yard. Um, oh, this is a lot of bombers now. Uh, the um, battle cruiser went down. Uh, there are still a lot of destroyers, uh, but of course, uh, I mean those bombers uh, can bomb the navy later on. He should really have gone for the engineers. Uh, uh, back then, a kill was a kill, and uh, no matter what you kill, uh, the GC gets wet. So he should have probably killed all those engineers very, very, very quick and uh, get some more veterancy. But as it is, uh, the GC is dead uh, in Burg. Uh, has lost all his power and uh, from the looks of his commander he doesn't have rares so uh, uh, yeah he has a hundred and thirty power income at minute twenty six uh, that is really bad uh, uh, unlucky situation for him he's rebuilding the tech three pigeon but of course with a hundred and thirty power income uh, this will take forever and um he needs um, he needs some uh, power. Looks like he was given a tech three pigeon. This is exactly what he needed. Um, and with the air force taking care of the navy, um, he now has uh, power again. N nice wreckage in front of his base. He didn't lost his shipyard, so um, he most likely can rebuild and. Uh, uh, can uh, save uh, his uh, spot here. Um, meanwhile, it looks like uh, La Pen has won uh, his navy side after um, um, uh, TA died. Uh, there was probably not a lot of um, defense. Uh, this looks like another air fight, and it looks like DCC. This is just bad micro. Um, oh, um, this was a snipe by DCC. While the air fight was going on, he sniped Colonel Rambo up front. Uh, looks like he just finished another GC. Uh, some strat bombers still in the air. Uh, we see Tech 3 air from uh, Killer. Uh, he has two air factories heavy supported, so. Uh, Killer really um, trying to make up uh, for uh, his fellow um, Foxy Grandpa here. So um, the GC killing the Navy, of course, um, uh, T3 Navy was a lot less used back then and it was um, cheaper, uh, more expensive than it is now. So against Tech 2 UAF Navy, this one they can do some significant damage. Uh, we see more Tech 3 air in TA's old base, but of course, uh, all but one, two maxes are gone. La Pen uh, wasting no time here, killing everything off. And now the mid base will be gone soon. The GC is not being used, of course, it's hard, it's hard to push against such an air force or such an, when, when you have such an air disadvantage, it's never good to send the GC alone, but he is a tech 2 factory, he should spam flag and maybe he can send the GC with a lot of flag. Um, looks like uh, Killer is teleporting already, so Killer has teleport ready. It's probably with a laser. Where is he going? He is going for DCC and this will be successful. So uh, DCC has been sniped, he kills also a lot of pigeons. So this is... Um, uh, 10,000, 16,000 power loss for the bottom side along with their air player who's gone. Uh, we see a gunship here uh, gave uh, Burke got half of the base and the other 
half was given to Le Pen. We see one gunship uh, killer trying to get out down to 5,000 health here. Um, of course, he took some damage from the commander explosion and the. Um, uh, so where is he going? Uh, we see. I I don't know what happened here. Uh, probably there was a unit cap, or he did not give his ASF because um, it looks like all his ASF disappeared. I don't know how that happened. Maybe they got shot down while they were not m managed. Uh, I did miss that. Um, uh, we see killer. Uh, this is really risky. It's nice, but it's risky. And uh, we see him making tactical missile launchers here in the back of the base. And this is a very nice idea from uh, Amberg. Um He is building tactical missile launchers on his own. So um, this will make it difficult for him to teleport out because you have to stand still for a certain amount of time. And with those, as long as those tactical missile launchers will be here, um, he's in danger of dying when he's trying to get out. And suddenly the air game has totally changed. Um, Le Pen needs to get tech 3 air, uh, which he does. Uh, we see SAMs being built. Of course, back then SAMs were like twice uh, the, um, the, the mass cost, so they were really um, expensive, uh, rather expensive. And they did not do splash damage, so they were s absolute ineffective compared to n what they are now. And the Seraphim uh, uh, SAMs were missing all the time. So n we can see here. Um, he lost his TMLs um, and uh, he's uh, still shooting. Now Killer built strategic bombs on his own and uh, uh, sniping all the missile launchers. So now he can teleport out. Great job here by Killer. Um, mm, there is all kind of bombardment taking place. Take 3 Max is getting killed. Oh no. This was a time when those strategic bombers were so inaccurate. They, you can see, you couldn't snipe a max. They, they're just missing. Can he now? Yeah. Um, you know, this was really those were hard to manage. Uh, we see s more drops, uh, more bombs being dropped, and uh, we see some Sams here. Uh, where's Killer? Looks like Killer went here, and now he's here. Um, He seems not to be afraid of dying. Um, meanwhile, we see a fat boy over here pushing the navy back a bit. But uh, this game has really changed. Um, the, they they totally put uh, this. The killer is totally changing the, the um, how the game is playing at this very moment. Um, they need to focus. They need to kill him, basically. Otherwise. Um, this is a real, real force. He has 96 kills already. It's a four-star commander with almost 24k HP. So this is uh, not easy to get rid of. And of course, he has a laser. Um, he's killing Tech 3 mass. Uh, we see strat bombers all over the place, and we see total air domination by uh, Foxy Grandpa now. Um, we see more SAM launchers by uh, La Pen. Oh, we see a snipe attempt here. This looks like a snipe. Will Amberg move? No, he does not move, but he survives. Uh, this was close. Now he will move. Of course, when he goes underwater, uh, one more bomb. It's just one more bomb. Needs to ground fire. Uh, he doesn't. Looks like um, Killer um, didn't build much navy anymore, and uh, two battle cruisers, of course, uh, will do a lot of damage against the Tech 2 Siren ships. Uh, we see more strategic bombers bombing basically nothing. Just flying around. Le Pen taking care of the problem or trying. Mm. There is a huge strategic bomber force by a uh, killer. A GC trying to fight Navy. Don't know. 
And where's Killer? Killer built a shield here and is teleporting. Uh, governor basically did not have a huge influence on the game after um, Rambo was dead. Uh, this, this is a huge force here. I don't know why they are there. Uh, actually, I don't know if they have intel. Do they see Amberg here? No, they don't. Um, they need spy planes or a killer should get a Tech 3 sonar. Uh, um, this looks like a sniper attempt on La Pen. Of course, with these bombers, it was always uh, very difficult to kill someone because they always dropped in a bad place. And you see, they all drop ahead of La Pen, but he still takes some damage. Of course, the Cyber Bombers have a huge. Um, looks like La Pen is trying to uh, get a shield on the commander, but this is so many strategic bombers. Uh, I think he will go down here. Yeah, he does. So, um, La Pen has been defeated. And this is most likely. I don't know. I mean, they don't have. The south side doesn't have air control. And they will probably never get it back. But it looks like they have both navies won. Um, now those two battle cruisers will be enough to defeat this cruiser force, and if you win both navies, um, it's always tough for the other side. They should already uh, have rebuilt everywhere, <laughs> but what's happening here? Uh, we see torpedo boats killing build power. Uh, we see. Yeah. Looks like Embrook has power problems. Yes, he does. Uh, they have lost a lot of pigeons. Yeah. Those commander manor explosions did a lot of damage back in the days. They do a lot less damage now, at least to buildings. We see Killer teleporting around. He's already 250 killed. And it's really, when you have total air control, um, you can um, really put this commander to the use, uh, to the maximum use. Of course, there's a chicken bot incoming now. Um, so, yeah, he, he does leave the area. He's going here, reclaiming the, the, the kill tech 3 pigeons, building factories, um, building more factories. So, uh, he's preparing a land spam here. And um, Amberg has had enough. Um, I can understand. <laughs> uh, there's a fat boy now, and uh, he's now fighting Barracudas, and he will not uh, succeed in winning this navy now. And uh, there was just nothing to be done anymore. So, this was uh, how Seaton's was back in the days. Uh, I think it was a pretty entertaining game and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.